You know, so many of us actually enjoy getting out and working on the lawn. You do? I do. Okay. I really do enjoy it. But you know, usually where there's lawn maintenance equipment, there's gasoline. Right, and where do most people store the gasoline? In the garage, which poses a potential hazard, not only for your family, but the environment. Well, here's Derek Lotta with the story. The internal combustion engine. No doubt, an integral part of our lives, from our cars to the lawnmower. We start them up, run them, and maintain them. Sometimes the maintenance can be fun, even a hobby as many car owners like to keep their vehicles in tip-top shape. But it also entails the handling of some dangerous materials such as motor oil and gasoline. How many of us are really up to speed on the storage and disposal of used motor oil? Are we storing and handling gasoline properly every time we fill up the lawnmower? I'm here with Amanda Emerson from Blitz USA to create consumer safety awareness concerning the hazards of gasoline and motor oil disposal. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you for having me today. What should we be focusing on? Well, when we're talking about gasoline safety, we're really focusing on three levels, and that's safety for ourselves, for our families, and safety for the environment. Amanda, what are some of the misconceptions about the use and storage of gasoline? Well, many people are aware that gasoline is dangerous and should be handled with care. However, whether it's through misconceptions or false comfort, people don't use good judgment all the time. And gasoline is highly dangerous due to its low flash point, high vapor density, and really it's the vapors of gasoline that are flammable, and they can travel many feet away Away from their source so it's really important that we follow every safety precaution. What are some of the ways we can stay safe when using and storing gasoline? Well first and foremost we need to remember to keep gasoline out of reach of children. Don't store gasoline in your garage where children can access, especially don't keep it near their toys or their bicycles. Keep gasoline away from flames, pilot lights, stoves, heaters, really any source of potential ignition. And you should always store and use gasoline in a well-ventilated area outside of your living space. And you never want to store gasoline in your vehicle. Always store gasoline in tightly sealed and improved containers. Never store gasoline in reusable or glass containers. Always ground the gas can to reduce static electricity buildup. When you're filling your lawnmower, you don't want to do it while the engine is running and you should make sure that the engine is cool. And also never fill the lawnmower when it's in your garage. You never want to give vapors an opportunity to concentrate. Never use gasoline as a cleaning agent or to start or accelerate a fire. Just always remember that gasoline only has one proper function and that's to fuel an engine. Any other use is misuse. Of course. Amanda, I see you have the EnviroFlow fuel container here. Can you demonstrate its use for us? Sure. Um, well, as you said, this is our EnviroFlow, and it features enhanced emission-reducing technology in conjunction with our innovative spout system. Okay. So what you're going to want to do after filling is tighten on the nozzle, and you can do that by engaging the child-resistant tab. Okay. And now this is a great feature because you can hear and see that it's securely sealed. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. So um, next you're going to want to slide back the trigger and depress the handle to okay. release any built-up pressure. You're going to want to do that before each use. And then when you release it, re-secures. So you slide the trigger back again and line up to it with your tank and depress fuel just like that by pushing on the handle. Wow. So um, it's as easy as that. You have control of the flow. You can direct fuel where you want it. And then letting it go re-secures the entire system. Where could someone learn more about gas cans and their proper use? Oh, well, you can go to our safety awareness page on our website at www.blitzusa.com. For those home auto mechanics like myself, there are hazards when it comes to disposing of old motor oil. Sometimes it's kind of it's overlooked or simply not really taken too seriously. Amanda, what are some of the hazards of, say, dumping old oil in a less frequented area of the yard? Well, we at Blitz like to say, don't spoil your soil, recycle your oil. So basically, used oil contains uh, contaminants such as lead, chromium, arsenic, and other chlorinated compounds. And by just dumping it in your yard or along fence lines, you're polluting your soil and potentially polluting your groundwater. Now, it just takes one gallon of used oil to pollute millions of gallons of drinking water. And then you also have the concern of leaving used oil around in various containers in your garage. And that increases your risk of spills, and it's also a fire hazard. So your best bet's to recycle your oil.
That makes sense, recycle the oil. Um, where could we take our oil to get recycled? Well, many people don't realize that you can recycle anywhere from three to five gallons of used oil at your local auto part shop. Um, you can take it in, it's at little or no cost, and uh, just give your favorite shop a call or call 1-800-CLEANUP to find a recycle center nearest you. Why use a disposed oil container instead of using, let's say, a uh an old milk jug or anything else laying around the house? Well, the disposal oil can hold up to three gallons of used motor oil, and that's the equivalent of two oil changes. Um, with its wide mouth opening and sturdy handle, you can transfer oil into it and transport it to the recycle center very easily. Most importantly, with the disposal oil, you have it clearly labeled and secure during trips or stored in your garage to really reduce spills and, and reduce your risk of harm to the environment. And uh, as always, uh, with hazardous substances, you want to keep them out of reach of children. And really, taking care of your used motor oil properly is another form of poison control. Amanda, that's a great way for people to view these materials so they can retain their respect for the potential danger to oneself, friends and family, property and the environment. Thank you for joining us today, Amanda. Thank very, you very, very much. informative. I'm Derek Lada for Designing Spaces. You know, with everything we've just seen today, I'm sure our viewers are very excited to get started on some projects around the house for the fall season. Absolutely. Would you like to see some more projects? Well, of course. You got to wait for next week because we are out of time. Okay. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time on Designing Spaces.